Hey, welcome to another Flights with Joel. This is Joel. Today, we are at Van Nuys Airport in Southern California. In Van Nuys, California. I'm in the Saracen Bell 412. First time I've flown this in a while. It's great that it still works. I'm in P3D V5. Which I'm sure you'll know by now by reading the title. I'm flying from Van Nuys to Long Beach because of a real-world helicopter video I saw that I will link to in the notes. But this Van Nuys Airport is pretty awesome for a non-add-on. This is simply um, the Van Nuys NA Southern California scenery from Orbix, and it's old. This is about to be replaced. There's all kinds of helipads, aircraft, helicopters. It's a fun place to start a flight. So I'm going to fly along the LA River. I'm going to follow along Google Maps. And we're going to check out um, some sites that are there and not there. So I'll be calling out some stuff that's not actually in the sim. I just thought it'd be fun to compare this. And uh, when you get to Long Beach, the scenery is actually 4P3D. It's fairly spectacular. There's a lot of cool stuff. So. I hope you have as much fun as I do flying the flight. Follow along and we'll check out some sights. This is what I mean about this scenery. It's got a lot of detail and, and it's pretty cool for uh, an updated airport, not actually an add-on, just an updated airport as part of the Southern California scenery. Okay, I am using track IR with this flight. I'll try and keep the head movements to a minimum, but I do like to look around. It's so much easier with track IR. So there, already, is the LA River. It's really small up here. And right down there to the left is a um, uh, an RC airport. Right there. RC airport. Isn't that crazy? Practicing helicopter landings there. And coming up is the, there it is, that's 405. And I'm already missing some scenery, pretty much missing the Japanese gardens and Sepulveda Basin Recreation Area that doesn't seem to be here at all. Don't see it. We're crossing the 405 and this is the 101 we'll be following. And the 101, the LA River pretty much follows the 101 for a little bit. Coming up is the Westfield Fashion Square. However, I don't think it's there either. But you can see the river, see the freeway. The traffic is just about right as it is May 11th, 2020. So it is, uh, you can see on the clock there, it's 1801 hours. And uh, what normally would be stopped up freeways, which is never represented here. Today is just light traffic, and now the river. Oh, there's some glitching. Glitching. I mean, my settings are a bit high for this much detail. The settings are just a little high, but still getting what I consider acceptable performance for a newly updated sim. And the detail is not bad here. It's not bad. Very curious. I probably won't get Southern California right away, but they're coming out with some new, even more detailed products for Washington, Oregon, and I think Northern and Southern California, but I'll have to see. So here the LA River meanders along. CBS Studio Center is right around here. Is that right? No. Yes. It's hard to see 
we're not that far yet. See where it actually joins together two outlets of the LA River joined together here. So now we're crossing another major freeway. Okay, we're further along than I thought. So that... Uh, is that right? Yes. We're crossing the 101 again. Just crossed the 101 again. I'm pretty sure... Universal City. No, I'm lost, aren't I? Oh, I'm a little lost. I'm trying to follow the map. Let's see here. Big golf course underneath me. No, that's not a golf course. So that would probably be Forest Lawn and Universal Studios, si Studios would be pretty much directly underneath me. However, it's not really represented at all. I will see if I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, as I fly this, I'm not 100% sure which freeway exchange this is. I already got lost, and there's some great big buildings there. I missed this golf course. Let's see, where do I think I am? Well, there's downtown. I'm looking directly at downtown Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm already... close to the Glendale Burbank area. And there's a big golf course on my right. Well, I'm not following the maps very well. Hmm, but there's a nice shot of downtown LA as you fly along the LA River. that freeway get this figured out that's the 134 we're following now Okay, so yeah, this is the 5 and the 134 interchange. I was further along than I thought.
Dodger Stadium is just out of view to our right. It's over those hills. And now, it's going to be just west of the five. And we should be crossing the, the 101 fairly soon. Now we start to see all the bridges and railroad tracks. Some of the river does have water in it by this time. Most of it all the previous parts are dry. But by here, it does have some water. And just when we get past downtown LA, we start getting in a more, into a more industrialized area. So there's the railroad tracks. And right in front of us is the 101. Now I'm back on track. There's the 101. We're going to cross that. And we're going to see... Well, there's downtown. There is one building you can land on with a helipad. All the buildings should have helipads. That was a regulation in LA for buildings over, I don't know, 10 stories or something for a long time. They just lifted that. Now we follow LA River and a lot of railroad tracks. And the 10 freeway is coming up. It's hard to tell the 10 from all the others. So that's the 10 right there. There's the 10 freeway. This isn't bad. We cross the 10, and there's a lot of railroad tracks. There's actually too many. No, that's about right. Maybe too many railroad tracks. And, and now the bridges get a lot more interesting in the real world. And the river widens out. Coming right up here. It widens out quite a bit. It's really fun. And where it widens out... Um, it starts getting a whole lot more industrial. Hey, do I have some traffic up there? I do. I've got some traffic. Don't have the right frequencies on, so I can't hear that traffic. But for I could not really fly this in 4.5. I would not be. Get, I would be getting stutters. My frames would be terrible. All this stuff uh, would really not be possible. And on this flight, the um, the background is not bad. Depending on the time of day, depending on what I'm doing, the um, it gets really uh, glittery, fuzzy in the background. So now, that is the 710 we just picked up. We've now picked up the 710 freeway. And we'll follow the 710 pretty much all the way down to Long Beach. There's a giant mall here, but we don't actually see that in the sim. Uh, oh, we see something like a mall. Yeah, that could be it. All right, there's a couple different things that could be a big mall. Maybe off there to my left. Hmm. 
There also should be another golf course. Should, would I see the golf course? I think so. And we should be crossing the 105 any minute. I think I see it in the distance. And that would be the 105 interchange as I try and decide which camera I like. Nope, that's not the interchange yet. Still, the 710 just crossed. The river just crossed the 710. Unless I'm further down than I thought, and that's the 90. No, this should be the 105 here. That is a 710. 710 and the 105 interchange, pretty sure. Oh, I see. There's rail ray in the middle. That would be the um, the rapid transit train. I forget what it's called. I forget what that's called here. Well, hopefully there's still some people with me, or at least, or you fast-forwarded, because coming up, when I get to Long Beach, the scenery's pretty awesome. Now, this must be the 91 that we're crossing. It's either the 91 or the 405. The size of it looks more like the 405, so I might have misidentified one of the freeways. Because that looks like a 405, and I can see the ocean now. That's the ocean dead ahead. So this is, yeah, that's got to be the 405 interchange. Look at all those cloak reliefs. That was really awesome. And... There's another random golf course. I don't think that golf course is in the right spot. Because there was the Virginia Country Club above the 405, and if we just pass the 405, it's not quite in the right spot. Now there's also another, um, another entryway, another spillway coming into the river. I don't even really see that on the map. Unless no, so that's it. See, everything's dry in the actual Google Maps. Everything is dry. Oh, and nope. Yeah, that would be Virginia Country Club that we just passed. That is in the right place. So that is the 405. That last interchange was the 91. This would be the 405. And there is Long Beach. In Long Beach. Got some cool scenery, so I would suggest if you fly helicopters and prepare 3D, or you like to fly any kind of type of aircraft, you might check out the Long Beach San Pedro area. This is all Long Beach and San Pedro coming up.
So I love this, that there's, uh, there's where the river goes into the ocean. And at this point, it is, there is a lot of water in it, not this much water. You can still see more of the sides. And there's a very exciting part in the, the real world video by, I think his name is Micah, Micah Muzio. He never says his name in his videos, but I'll link to it and you can see what this actually looks like. Look at the detail down here, though. This is uh, it's fantastic. It's great detail. That bridge is done really well. This looks like photo real scenery. Makes for a great picture. Got some military ships over there. Uh, lots of. Uh, container ships and oil tankers and now we're flying up to the Queen Mary and the cruise ship. Now what's really happening on May 11th 2020 is that this whole area is full of ships anchored out here. This whole bay is absolutely full of ships because the tankers don't have anywhere to sell their oil yet and container ships can't unload all their goods so there are quite a there's like 30 ships out here right now pretty strange So this cruise ship looks pretty cool. It's got a helipad. Oftentimes I get crashes when I try and land on those helipads, no matter how good I do it. Because I always do it perfect, right? It's always perfect. Those cranes just look fantastic. That, those are not the those are not P3D cranes. It's something that was put in by Orbix. Has to be in all this is photo real scenery. Dome where the spruce goose was. I visited it there with my dad long ago. The terrible looking uh, Queen Mary? Queen Mary, which is now a hotel. You can stay there. At least you could stay there. Maybe not right at the moment. But what's it going to look like with the next sim? Um, if I had the, the. If I was a part of the team that had that sim I could tell you but I couldn't tell you anything about it but I can tell you I don't even have it so if anyone's waiting for it you're not the only ones so thanks for flying along this has been another Flights with Joel hope you subscribe hope you enjoyed it and uh, the next one I'll probably show my settings remember to, to show what I'm using these settings are kind of medium it's really you've got to experiment with your own system quite a bit. So I don't know how much it helps. So thanks for flying along. See you next time.